These days, we're very fortunate to have a multitude of high-fidelity speakers at our disposal. But between two of the most popular ones right now, the Apple HomePod 2 and the Amazon Echo Studio, which one beats out the other? That's what we're going to find out. What's up, Internet? I'm Brian McDuff, aka BMAC, and welcome to another video. And if you like videos about tech reviews, product unboxings, and filmmaking or photography tutorials, make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. So the Apple HomePod, second generation, and the Amazon Echo Studio. Two very popular smart speakers right now, but which one is better? Whether you're looking for the smartest speaker, the most capable speaker, or just the best sounding speaker, we're gonna put these two speakers head to head and figure out all of that right now. So let's start things out by talking about the design of these two smart speakers and how things are looking on the outside. At a glance, things look pretty similar between the HomePod and the Echo Studio. Both speakers come with a mesh fabric outside, both speakers need to be plugged in to operate, and both speakers are pretty close in size, with the HomePod being ever so slightly smaller than the Echo Studio, measuring in at just under seven inches tall, while the Studio measures in at just over eight inches tall. Both the HomePod and the Echo Studio have a light system on top of the speaker itself, a backlit edge-to-edge -to -edge touchscreen display for the HomePod, and an LED ring light indicator with physical buttons on the Echo Studio. And both speakers do only come in two colors, black or white, or more specifically, midnight or white for the HomePod, and charcoal or sandstone for the Echo Studio. And that's pretty much it. The only other majorly apparent difference between the two speakers is the vent that you're getting here on the bottom of the Echo Studio, which is for ventilation for the downward facing woofer built into the studio itself, whereas clearly on the whole pod, you're getting fabric all around. So visually, nothing too crazy here in terms of differences, but connectivity wise, that's where you're gonna to start to see some pretty distinguishing features that separate the speakers from one another. The whole pod, for all that it's worth and for all that it does, is very limiting in terms of how you could actually use it. For one thing, an iPhone or an iPad is required to even set up and use a HomePod, and then once you do that, you're still gonna be limited to using just Apple devices to stream to the HomePod, despite it housing Bluetooth 5.0 technology. So if you're an Android user and you wanna use the HomePod, you're kind of already out of luck. But for those Apple to HomePod connections, you do get AirPlay 2 support, which makes playing music on the HomePod from your Apple devices literally seamless. It's incredibly quick and easy to do. Even if you're just transferring music from your iPhone to the HomePod, all you have to do is bring it close and you're gonna be able to play your music literally just by bringing the iPhone in the vicinity of the speaker itself. On the Echo Studio, quite a bit different situation here. On the back of the studio, you are gonna notice an aux in that actually doubles as an optical in, making hardwired listening an absolute reality, whereas that's completely impossible on the HomePod. And then you do get full Bluetooth capabilities with the Echo Studio, so it doesn't matter what device you're using iPhone, Android, Mac, PC, you name it, you'll be able to stream it through Bluetooth to the studio without any kind of problem. As it relates to smart home technology, even though both the HomePod and the Echo Studio do offer now Matter support, it'll likely still be a while before we have any kind of universal compatibility between the two speakers, with many prominent smart home devices still either, either being only HomeKit or Zigbee compatible, which means you'll likely still be using the HomePod as a HomeKit hub or the Echo Studio as a Zigbee hub. With it being pretty safe to say that right now, it seems there are still far more Alexa compatible devices than HomeKit compatible devices on the market, so that's something to think about too. Side note, however, the HomePod 2 does house a built-in temperature and humidity sensor, while the Echo Studio does not. A little bonus point there for the HomePod if that's something you're looking for. But we obviously have to talk about voice assistants here as well, the Siri voice assistant being built into the HomePod with the Alexa voice service being built into the Echo Studio. And if we're being honest, if you know me, it's no real secret that I'm a much bigger fan of the Alexa voice service and her intelligence over the very limited Siri and her sometimes very bland, very unhelpful answers to the majority of my questions. Let alone all the Alexa skills and additional audio streaming service connectivity options that the Alexa voice service offers. So intelligence wise, there's really no comparison here. Echo Studio is gonna win on that front. But I know what you probably care most about is sound quality and how these two speakers sound when you listen to them side by side. I'm gonna come right out and say it here. Both smart speakers here sound absolutely amazing. Yes, they sound different, 
but both of them really do sound amazing. The HomePod and the Echo Studio both emit a very wide range of sound, they both get quite loud, and they both really impress no matter what it is you're listening to. Taking that a step further, both speakers do support Dolby Atmos for spatial audio listening, which really does make both of these speakers sound even more incredible and even more immersive when you're listening to a song that has Dolby Atmos enabled. And a large part of both of these speakers sounding pretty darn awesome probably has to do with the fact that they both offer their own form of room analyzation, which is where the speakers will literally adapt to the environment and the location that you place them in to sound the best that they can in those locations. But if you really wanna take a deep dive into comparing the sound quality of both speakers, despite both of them sounding great, there are some key differences that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. First up, loudness. And there's no doubt that the Echo Studio actually has the ability to get a little bit louder than the HomePod. Both speakers do get impressively loud for their somewhat smaller size, but the Studio definitely wins on the loudness front here with it being able to get noticeably louder than the HomePod when at max volume. I have also noticed more lower rumbles and bass coming out of the Echo Studio, probably in part because of that dedicated downward facing 5.3 inch woofer that delivers a pretty hefty bass section through the bottom vents of the Echo Studio that we pointed out earlier. And those two things are what's providing the Echo Studio with what I think is a punchier, louder, and a more bass or lower end focused listening experience. That's not to say that the HomePod doesn't have bass. It most certainly does, but it just doesn't quite house quite as much bass power as the Echo Studio does. Now, having said that, even though the Echo Studio does have the ability to get louder and does arguably have a more powerful bass section, the separation of instruments and stems in the music that you're listening to on the HomePod is absolutely nothing short of incredible. I have spent several hours extensively testing the two speakers, both in a stereo setup, in a solo setup, and in a Dolby Atmos setup, and I have to say, the HomePod simply never fails to deliver attention to detail with clarity in every aspect of the EQ spectrum with every single instrument being able to be heard. So basically, if you wanna hear all the details in the stems and the instruments of the music that you're listening to, especially when you're listening in Dolby Atmos, the HomePod is gonna provide a listening experience that is truly one of a kind. The Echo Studio, on the other hand, is great for if you want more bass, more loudness, and an overall warmer balance of sound, with perhaps less concern for clarity, detail, and mid-tone representation. But how does all of this relate to a home theater setup? What if you care more about your movies and your TV shows than you do your actual music listening? Like we've already said, both the HomePod and the Echo Studio support Dolby Atmos, so as you would expect, this carries over to video watching as well, if you have the proper audio setup for it. So both your Apple TV and HomePod setup, as well as your Fire TV and Echo Studio setup, will provide the ability to pair up to two main speakers together, with, however, the Echo Studio actually adding the ability to incorporate the Echo Sub into the mix as well. This means you could effectively achieve a 2.1 home theater setup with the Fire TV and Echo Studio combination, as opposed to just a 2.0 setup with the Apple TV and the HomePod. So in the home theater category, I'm gonna have to go ahead and lean towards the Echo Studio here, if not alone for the fact that you're getting a little bit more bass out of the speakers themselves, but also because of that 2.1 setup where you could add on an Echo Sub. So with all this having been said, at the end of the day, which smart speaker is gonna be a better match for you? Should you go for one over the other? What's the conclusion? Like I've already said, both speakers are absolutely incredible sounding, they're amazing in their own right, and you really can't go wrong with either speaker. HomePod 2, Echo Studio, you're gonna be happy. But I do think it's gonna ultimately come down to what your intended purpose for the smart speaker is. If you already have multiple Apple devices and own an iPhone, the HomePod is probably gonna be the way to go with its ease of use and interconnectivity within the Apple ecosystem, in addition to its superior attention to detail and clarity and its sound profile. On the other hand, if you're an Android person, or if you just want an arguably better home theater experience, you're probably gonna to wanna to go with the Echo Studio and its more versatile connectivity potential. The choice is ultimately yours. There really is no wrong choice, I think, to be made here. You just gotta put on your grown-up hat for a minute and make the decision for yourself. I just hope that this video helped lead you to it. As always, if you guys are interested in learning more about the Apple HomePod 2 or the Amazon Echo Studio, or to snag either of these bad boys for yourself, you guys could, of course, always head to my affiliate links, bmac.link slash HomePod 2 or bmac.link slash Echo Studio. Or of course, there will always be a clickable link in the video description box below as well. With that having been said, I think I literally have enough smart speakers down here to turn this studio into a nightclub. BMAX nightclub. I'm about to actually do that. Mm -hmm. I will see you guys in my next video.